Welcome back everybody to the Claudia Campbell show. Woo! We are back in my home environment, episode three. Let's go. Today's pretty good. I actually really like my chain. Today's been pretty chill. It's so weird, y'all. Like my life I feel like is literally the gym content stuff. Maybe a few other things. Like it's so weird. And then I think I'm about to go to the bank and store with my mom. So I'll keep you guys updated. It's kind of a rainy day today. Come in. So I'm having a watch party with the people from the camp vlog reality TV show last week's episode. And then he just runs up and he starts fighting. He like what he's really entertaining. I wish I had popcorn for this. And so we just watched it all together. At least a few of us did. Which if you haven't watched it, literally go and comment right now. And tell me that you've watched it and comment the favorite character because we're trying to have a competition. But they just watched it, so they're gonna give their uh, thoughts. Hello everybody. What do y'all think of it? This is the Jake, Annabelle, and Aiden from the last episode. It was good. I mean, obviously, I loved it. It was so good. Jake? It was wonderful. Summarized the whole camp. Also, just like yeah, to let y'all know, Red Team good. did in fact win. Yeah, we won. It was Shut up. Amazing. My team did get a solid, you know, 105,000 points within one day. Because we actually tried. Can we just for a second talk about how in that whole episode, JP was like, y'all are going to lose. Y'all are the worst team. Team is going to win. What team is going to lose? And then his team literally lost. <laughs> um, our team got second. No, don't start that. We're about to go to the bank, the store for the planner, like I already said. Today, I pretty much just like went to the gym, had that Zoom call, like I said. And I was supposed to film a podcast, but my guest called in sick, so I couldn't. But it's gonna be a really good podcast. Life is kind of slow, but I've been enjoying it being slow, and it's wild to me that literally my senior year is almost here. Like, how is that even possible? A few moments later. Okay, so we actually ended up going to eat um, dinner with this sweet little couple from church. Me and my family did. I'm actually in the car right now because we're pretty much all done. But uh, we forgot that we had it. So it was like 4.30 and me and my mom were literally in the car for the bank. We were like, oh my goodness. They were at the restaurant. They texted us. So we got ready in approximately like six minutes and came here. And I think I'm going to see if I can go to the store now to get my lip liner. Look at the sunset. Wouldn't it be nice? Ninja moves. <laughs> now, see, here's what we can do. When it's all wet, the water's up here. Uh -huh. And usually you put it in your car and all the water drains down. Yeah. But now, watch this. Water stays cut, captured. Uh -huh. Where does it empty out? What if, like, you pour it where over? Where does it empty out when you get to where you're going? <laughs> see, boom. That's sweet. That's then, cool. Then, when you get to where you're going, you do this. Cha! <laughs> and then if you need a little self-defense action, you take this gun. <laughs> Mom thought that was funny. Are you serious? Just took a shower, had lunch. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I might be going to a movie in the park tonight with my parents, but I'm not 100% sure. It was just so nice to get my hair done because I have curly hair and I had had to like, um, I had to like heat style it, curl it for my senior pictures, like my portraits, like for yearbook. And my hair was really frizzy that way, so I had to, but it always messed up my curl pattern. So it's so nice to actually, like I don't know. <laughs> don't know how to describe it curly hair girls will understand it's like a piece of me was missing and now it's back and i feel clean and i feel good 
just slept over from yesterday i'm probably gonna go fix myself a load of tea i love those they're basically like healthy energy like derived from natural sources that i actually really enjoy so instead of like being super unhealthy with energy drinks which sometimes i struggle with and it's just like it's nice they're like different flavors and stuff so i feel like i'm low-key drinking a starbucks refresher with caffeine in it anyway it's awesome so i'm gonna make myself one of those and maybe go hang out with my parents because like i feel like those are like my legit friends right now <laughs> Mom is cooking a watermelon. A cooking one. Enough watermelon. I think we should just eat it out. With Great watermelon. summer food. I think we should eat it out with a spoon. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I think I we love should. Watermelon. I think we should just eat it with a spoon. No. We're gonna cut it. <laughs> I might be buying a new camera soon. Yay. <laughs> they said close your eyes and gave me this weird box and just all the materials in it and i just started opening it and i was like what and i didn't know what it was until i saw this thing and then i was like no way so hopefully better quality is on the way but this is so exciting okay so i just got the camera and i'm testing it out for the first time i've been spending the last few minutes just like studying it seeing how it works and i'm literally so excited i was not expecting the camera at all roll film Ooh, i might be buying a new camera soon but i have all these gadgets i have to figure out how to do so today has has been such a great day and now i get to vlog more oh my goodness i'm literally like i'm so happy my hair is still drying from my shower i don't know if you can see it but like the roots this back part always takes the longest time i think i'm gonna put my clothes away um, and my parents are about to come back home. They had to go run an errand and then I think we're gonna have dinner all together So I think I'm just going to turn on some music get this done get this out of the way get all of this put away Um, I've been having so much fun like I'm literally experimenting with my new camera I feel so professional now like literally what? Um, I was not expecting it. So the story goes basically. I'm just like praying to God <laughs> Let's have a little chat here. Hold on a second. All right. So basically, a few weeks ago, God's like, okay, Claudia, you need to start, like, praying for a camera. And I was like, okay, that's so weird. I have no clue how I'm going to get a camera and all this stuff. I don't even know if you can see me. I really hope you can. And all this stuff, like, you need to pray for a camera. So I start praying for a camera, y'all. And then, like, a week later, I told my parents I was praying for a camera. Whatever. Little did I know, they had already gotten me a camera before I had even started, like, or praying for one, like legit praying for one. Then I got like, and they kept this a secret for forever. And then they kept like, um, they, they kept the camera. They didn't tell me that they had gotten it for me. And so I enlisted like all of my friends. I was like, okay guys, please pray for me that I would get a camera because I really need it for all my content and stuff. So then today, it's literally like a random Saturday in June. I'm doing nothing. And I just continued to use, like, my phone for vlogging and stuff because I was like, I can do this. And I was just using what God had given me. I was being faithful. And then they just were like, okay, close your eyes. And they were so casual about it. They were literally so casual. And I'm like, I opened it up. And I thought it was this figure. I didn't know what it was. Until I pulled it out. And I was like, it's a camera thing came. And I was like, if that is a camera, I'm going to go crazy. And I did go crazy. I was literally so excited. <laughs> like literally so excited. Okay. Interview is over. Oh, night, I don't answer the phone. Okay, so mom and dad just called me. I'm gonna meet them at this cute little pizza place. Mm. It's literally so casual. So I'm just getting ready. I hate, like, wash days are a love and hate. Like, as you can see my hair. I've talked about this before. What did I do? Y'all, I'm so confused by this tripod. I'm gonna figure it out eventually. I think I'm just gonna put a claw clip in my hair and then I'll be ready to go. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, I'll see you guys whenever I get to the pizza place. It's the vlog. Just, like, yeah. hey. Yo, what's up? 
How was the pizza? Um, phenomenal. I was, was hungry really and I'm stuffed. It was unbelievable. The texture, the temperature, and the flavor were spot on. Okay, Mr. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I just got back from church. It's Sunday. I actually really liked my outfit. Today has kind of been a little bit wild. So basically, I went to a different church than normal um, because we were just going with some that my friends went to. And afterwards, we went and we ate all this stuff, right? Well, then I get my, my mom's car got hit on the outside of the restaurant by somebody who just like ran into it. Thankfully, we got the license plate number and everything. So we found a policeman and everything. Oh my goodness, it was it was actually kind of crazy. And she don't know where she's going. She don't know like, <laughs> where we are. She's gonna turn around. Uh, we had to get a police. We were literally. It is 93 degrees out here. <laughs> That's a nine followed by a three. That's a nine followed by a three. No, we were just minding our own. Ch <laughs> what did I almost just say? <laughs> minding our own business. And. Eating chips and queso. And chips. Dad, That's right. Dad gets this. Own chips and queso. Dad gets this random phone call. Well, who's it from? Oh. Okay. So he just name dropped somebody who we know, and. Uh, it's a lady we know. Yeah, and she was like, "Come outside. Somebody just ran into your car, so we had to get the insurance and everything." Did they she all. She all covertly took his uh, license plate number down. Did they hit hit and run? Not run. And they ate lunch and then they left. Oh, and but the they police didn't officer tell us. was like, the police officer is all like, he is guilty of fleeing the scene. So let this be a lesson for you. When you hit somebody or get hit, call the cops because they're gonna have to file a report and don't flee the scene. So now I'm getting a Celsius because it is exhausting. Somehow it's two sixteen <gasps> after church. I need a Celsius, Dad. Can we go get a Celsius? But it also took forever because, like, that church went a little longer. So then by the time we ate and got home, because it's also, like, a 30-minute drive, it's literally, like, almost... It, it's actually 3. 3.18. Girl! Ah! It was fun. It was good. Probably worth it. But now I'm probably going to go to the gym and maybe work on another project. We'll see. We'll see all that we have to do. I'm really just trying to not be on social media a lot today. Just kind of do the things that I enjoy, that refuel me. I think I might do my nails too, because they need to get done. I do my own acrylics, so. I'm probably gonna go to the gym now. It's currently Monday. Sunday was good. It was a little bit hectic. It is 93 degrees out here. That's a nine followed by a three. Now I'm doing some editing. I actually have a lot that I have to get done today. I feel like that I haven't gotten my day in front of me. Like I don't know all the things I need to do. I've just started doing them. So like I've been editing. I woke up late because I had a bad night's sleep last night. Decided to use today as my rest day because I was like, I have a lot to do. To update my license because in a few days we have to drive down to Atlanta and get a rush job on my passport because I might be going to Zimbabwe soon which that's a story for another day and then we have our people coming to fix our air condition I have my 10k photo shoot for Instagram today so I have to pick out my outfit decide if I want to get cake or if I want to get like a bouquet of flowers to do that's at 4 p.m then I have to film a podcast today and yeah that's pretty much my day it's kind of wild today and then tomorrow I don't know if I'm filming a podcast for sure or not tomorrow I might get together with one of my friends I don't know and then I have a podcast that I'm gonna be on which is so exciting with one of my friends so yeah I've just I feel like this week is just really busy but I'm so excited to take you guys along with life of an influencer if you know what I mean I'm about to go eat lunch. I need to throw this away. It's literally from yesterday. I'm about to go to my 10K photo shoot for Instagram. I got some work done. I got my loaded tea in my system. I spent way too much time on TikTok today, though. I'm gonna go by the store, get the cake for my 10K photo shoot. Let's see what happens. My vision is cake in a parking garage at sunset. We'll see. Girl. We'll see if that happens. Ma'am? Hey, I'm ready to go if you are. Okay. All right. See you there. Love you. Bye. Yeah, exactly. Can you just make it say 10 and then K like in big letters? Yes, I just got it on Instagram. <laughs> um, look at it. It says 10K. Okay, I finally made it. The cake is so cute. I showed it in the last clip, but we're on the parking garage. Me and Jenna, she's taking my pictures. Once I post them, go like, it's probably already up by now, but go like the <laughs> pictures, please. <laughs> because it's really hot outside. Mm -hmm. 
so. God is good! Currently about to film a podcast, but waiting for my camera to charge because of course it didn't charge. The last time we tried to record this podcast episode, the camera cut off at like two minutes. And it was literally on spiritual warfare, which I think is very fitting. The setup here is really cute. Had to reorganize the room. So the couch is supposed to be over here, but because of all of that lighting, I had to reorganize it to where be right here, then the tripod, and in my camera that's charging right now so i finished my podcast i got so mad at my hair it's just one of those days when you like get mad at your hair now i'm putting it in my bun and me and mom are gonna go to dutch bros or get coffee somewhere my camera is being a little booty hole and not working with me so i'm gonna just like pray over my camera and anoint it with oil or something see you dutch bros 10 out of 10 we're here at Firehouse Subs because mom wanted to go into a dining room. We didn't realize that Dutch Bros didn't have a dining room. Yeah, so. they only have a dining room. Back for podcast number two of the day. This is like exhausting, but I'm really excited for my guest. I love her so much. It's going to be like the best podcast ever. And then I'm probably going to go to the gym. I got so much editing done after I went to lunch and Dutch Bros. The podcast is almost uploaded. Thank goodness. So then now I'm filming this one. I have like an hour in me and then I'm probably gonna be mentally like so drained, but it'll be fine. Vlog, today has been kind of wild. I've done such a bad job at vlogging today, but this morning I went and I got coffee with my friend and then Loki got caught in like a tornado. Like whenever I tell you guys, the sky was as green as this airy bag. Like I'm not even joking. It was so bad. Um, Right now my room is low key kind of messy too. So I want to clean it. We just got a new air conditioned unit in. So for a while, I've had to use like this small one in my room. Like they just put this window unit in while they were fixing the rest of our air condition. So last night, neighbors are so sweet. We live in a cul-de-sac and I absolutely love it. And they invited us out for this girl's two-year-old birthday. They had fireworks and it's close to the fourth. I also live in a military town, which is kind of cool. They were lighting fireworks. I'll probably show a clip of the chaos that went on. <laughs> but it was so fun it was so funny i love them so much anyway i will catch you guys next week for another episode another vlog in my life i have so loved spending time with you guys this week i have loved being more present on youtube so if you haven't already like and subscribe this video and join fam i have videos up every friday Hopefully, sometimes editing is hard and it's like Saturday. But every Tuesday, I drop a podcast. My podcast episode comes out and this week's podcast is awesome. It's off the chain. Literally love it. So I will see you guys next week. Jesus loves you. Be blessed. Bye.